Okay, so for this video, I have a full Kamehameha moveset theme suggestion. Shout out to RichBoy27Rick for suggesting this theme. If you would like to see your theme suggestion done for a future video, make sure you leave them in the comments and make sure to make them interesting. And the best suggestions will be used for future videos. So getting into the moveset, I did change a few things around. Instead of using the Kaioken Kamehameha Super Attack, I changed it to the Kamehameha Boost. I decided to use Future Super Saiyan despite he didn't even list that. And I used Perfect Kamehameha instead of either of the Kaioken ultimate versions and finally I decided on using Dragon Burn as my evasive. Oh man okay so let's talk about this moveset for a moment. Oh man okay so I've got to say this now I would strongly recommend not using this build or a build that's similar. I mean just look at how many beam attacks I have. You really don't need to use times 10 Kamehameha and the normal version. You can charge the times 10 version up five times I believe and I believe the normal Kamehameha can only be charged up three times so it just makes more sense to use times 10 because it's just got more utility and more uses and you can use it depending on what situation you're in plus if you use your golden form potential unleashed or any of the super saiyan transformations you'll be able to use the warped version of both of these so again it kind of feels like a way to putting both on this was the first time i used bending kamehameha and it just felt like a bit of a waste as well and just a huge gimmick you can make it bend wow okay whoa Wow. Ooh. Yeah, it just felt like a waste and it's just a gimmick. For my evasive, I decided to use Dragon Burn because I don't think they would expect me using that and then to follow it up by using the Kamehameha boost. And for my ultimate, I have perfect and super Kamehameha. Now, the guy did recommend that I use Kaioken times 4 or times 20. But I've already done a video using that, so I decided not to use it for this video. Now, okay, so Super Kamehameha is probably one of the best ultimates in the game. If you take into consideration how much key it uses, how much damage it does, and how fast it is to fire. But with Perfect Kamehameha, it takes 4 bars of key to fire. It's got a kind of slow startup time. But the thing is, you can't block it, you can only evade it. If you do try to block it, you'll fail, you can't even perfect block it, you'll take the full force of the attack. I'm guessing it would also be okay if I used final or times 100 big bang Kamehameha, and I would strongly recommend you using one of those if you're going to run a moveset similar to this. The reason I say that is because they roughly have the same startup time, I believe they both take 5 bars of key to use, and I think they both cause roughly the same amount of damage. And it'll be good to use if you break your opponent's guard and send them flying down and so they just won't be able to get up in time and then you'll be able to do an insane amount of damage that way and trust me for this move set you're going to want to do that and you may want to use hyper movement as well so you can break their guard that way if they try to use an ultimate but for this video i just wanted to try a dragon burn and kamehameha boost combo and finally i'd also recommend super kamehameha as your second ultimate just because like i've already said it's very reliable and stable given how much key it needs to use, how fast it is, and just how much damage it does. And finally, here are my stats for this video, but keep in mind I was playing with limitations on, so stats are kind of pointless. So let's get into the first battle. I picked the Space Vegeta map, and looking at his moveset, I've noticed that he's got just this combination. So I really need to be careful there, because that's a very OP attack in the game. He vanishes, I counter, then I go for the stamina break there for some reason. In a moment, I'll go for the times 10 Kamehameha, and I think I did that just to look flashy because it completely misses. I didn't decide to vanish there because I just wanted to see what he would do if he'll try to predict me back hitting. He went for the dragon burn as I predicted he was going to try and vanish which works out perfectly for me. Now there I used dragon burn myself to try and stagger the justice combination so I wouldn't take any damage and before he could hit me with the final attack I backstep so I'm free from danger at that point. I go for the heavy combo and finish it off with the Kamehameha, even though he misses. Then I turn Super Saiyan, dash up towards him, we go into a clash. Then I backstep and he actually went for the Super God Fist there, which tells me that he's going to anticipate me rushing into him after a clash. Then after this, he dashes into me, gets me in a small combo, then I use Dragon Burn and then I go for the Kamehameha boost which is successful. But looking back I don't know if it was the right decision to use Dragon Burn there instead of vanishing because the amount of damage it did compared to me using 3 bars of stamina I don't really think it was worth it. I went for a cheeky stamina reset there but I stopped myself because I was thinking well 
If it hits me with just this combination there, I would be completely screwed. But then I vanish and then go for the stamina reset. So now I've just gone for stamina reset and instead of him using just this combination, which without a doubt would have finished me off here, he just uses the basic light combo and then when my stamina is almost recharged, he then goes for the justice combination which was probably the worst play in the entire match because I now have enough stamina to escape here and then some. My health is low enough so I get the Zenkai boost which increases basic mana damage and I know he's going to vanish when he has two bars of stamina because he will want to try and avoid as much damage as possible so I can just predict that. I then vanished as soon as he used justice combination, then used a full power times 10 combo. Kamehameha and as you just saw the perfect Kamehameha didn't connect properly and I know as soon as his stamina recharges he's going to vanish so then I predict that and finish him off with the back hit. Going into the next fight the guy picks his freeze race character which I rarely see online now which is very weird so it's always nice when someone does pick their freeze race character. I get to throw off pretty much at the beginning of the fight, block his combo then we go into a clash then after the clash I go for the back step because I don't know what he's going to do and god damn that bug where your character randomly turns around is still in it and it's so annoying. I hit him with the dragon burn then go for the Kamehameha boost and that's definitely not the most effective strategy to do damage to your opponent, it just looks flashy. Again my character randomly turns around which is so frustrating. Now here I've predicted his vanishing and he's just blocking so I want to keep hitting him to try and break his stamina that way but I send him away and use bending Kamehameha but he doesn't bend and just hits him. It does a decent amount of damage I guess. He tried to turn golden there which I completely shut down and now he does doesn't have enough stamina to protect himself so I send him flying, turn super saiyan and try and hit him with the times 10 but it doesn't connect and I'm assuming he misclicks here because he tries to use the big bang kamehameha which I don't know why you'd use it in that situation for. But yeah, this guy's vanishing patterns were pretty predictable. There I knock him down and try to hit him with the Super Kamehameha and he doesn't connect for some reason. And here he goes for the Desperation KO Kane times 4 Kamehameha, which actually hits. So I return a favour and hit him with the times 10 Kamehameha and that hits. Then I try it again and go for the instant version, which doesn't hit at all and completely misses. And I finish him off with the Dragon Burn and he must have been so salty because because of that finish. Going into the next fight I picked the world tournament stage because I haven't really used it in a while but this guy was very easy to predict when he was going to vanish and that's ultimately why he lost this match. He actually does a respectable amount of damage to me but because he was easy to predict it ultimately doesn't pay off for him. He goes for the homing dash here in a moment but unfortunately for him I already had a energy volley charged up so that connects before he can actually use it and I think he wasted one bar of stamina because of that. So now I get him in the light combo and I'm already charging up the energy volley for when I punch him back and it does connect and I hit him with 30 key blasts there which just feels so satisfying and for no discernible reason here I use the perfect Kamehameha. I don't know why there's no way it was going to hit but he capitalizes on that and uses death ball which I tried to use the homing dash to go behind him Kappa and break his guard but it didn't work so fair play to him but that doesn't matter because again I just know when he is going to vanish. I pull off the full basic light combo, then after that finishes I turn Super Saiyan to finish this off. I dash up towards him, hit him a few times, I know he's going to vanish so I counter it, then hit him with a very fast normal Kamehameha. I then charge up a times 10 warped version, but unfortunately for me he went for the Super Kamehameha which he wins that beam struggle I guess. So then I use Dragon Burn going back a few moments here, I use Dragon Burn to minimise the damage. I didn't use my evasive or vanish during that combo for whatever reason, then he finishes off with a Kaioken Kamehameha. So now as the battle is getting ready to conclude, I'm just waiting to see what he's going to do. I have more health, more key, more stamina than him, so I pretty much have the high ground. He sends me flying but I hit him with the Dragon Burn and finish him off with the perfect Kamehameha, which I did think was a bit flashy but you know, it, you have to admit that looked like a cool finish. So there's one more fight in this video, I'm not going to commentate over it because I consider this to be a blooper. The guy was from Japan and he had a one bar connection, so I hope you guys enjoy that fight and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
Thank you.